So David, I understand that we're looking for more than just artifacts here at the site, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, so in addition to looking for artifacts, we're looking for evidence of human behavior. And a lot of times that gets uh, manifest in uh, features. Uh, as archaeological features, we're looking for subtle soil stains. Um, and we can see a number of those here. Um, we've already excavated uh, a larger one, which we have interpreted as a pit. But we're, we're also looking for um, evidence for structures uh, and different kinds of um, uh, kind of architectural remains. Uh, these small circular stains, we've got five of them here, are uh, probable post holes. Uh, we've got a line of three here that will probably uh, be or are probably part of a structure. We've got a line. Um, these three seem to be connected uh, in terms of their size and the color of the, the fill. Uh, we see these as soil stains, but what they probably were, uh, and we'll know better once we've excavated them, uh, are the remains of posts that were um, either parts of standing structures or stand standalone posts. Uh, and we see them as dark spots, and that's due to either uh, the post rotting in place and um, enriching that soil, adding uh, darker fill, or they were pulled and other fill, darker fill, got uh, uh, has fallen in. Uh, or sometimes posts were burned in place, and so we see uh, parts of charcoal associated with them. Uh, we also have a second line of posts, and we uh, I'm, when I look at the top of these, I see a slightly different uh, content. There's a little bit more burned clay, a little bit of uh, heavily burned bone shows up as very white. There's charcoal in this. And so the, when I see these, uh, I can recognize a difference in uh, their, their content. And that leads me to suspect that they're probably parts of different structures. Now, I'm also noticing that the shapes where you've been digging these features are very unusual. What can you tell me about that? So the method of excavation uh, that we're using to uh, uh, look at these post holes is called uh, a window box. Uh, because post holes are, uh, tend to be very small and narrow and can potentially be very deep, we want to be able to see the profile. And so what we've done, every time we've seen a post hole, uh, in this case we have two adjacent ones, we have set up a bisection line. We've cut them in half and dug a little box uh, wider than the feature, wider than the post hole. And what that allows us to do, we'll cut that straight down and see the dark soil as deep as it goes. And that can help us determine whether or not this is in fact a post hole or sometimes um, Root disturbances or rodent burrows can very often look like a post hole, but uh, they don't terminate in the same ways as a post hole would. Uh, and so if we uh, excavate a post, uh, what we think might be a post hole, and it starts wandering off, that's not going to be a, a, a cultural feature. That'll be a, a natural or um, an animal disturbance. So uh, the we excavate the first half as just a window box so we can see the profile. And then once we've done that, we'll come back and core out the remaining cultural fill and that gets water screened to make sure we collect all artifacts associated with that feature.